It's the HBO Comedy Hour. And what's so funny? It's George Carlin, jamming in New York. Say, you got a little bit of dirt right here. They always go, we're here! From the smallest observations to life's biggest questions. Why are we here? Plastic. Catch it all with George Carlin, live at the Paramount. Monday on HBO. My kind of TV, I just want some entertainment. Dream On, HBO's sexy hit comedy series for grown-ups. One of the funniest series on TV is back with a brand new season on a new night at a new time. Martin Tupper, you remember him as the sensitive lover. Hurts. The responsible father. Dad, I am really, really disappointed. And a commanding boss. We have a professional relationship. I quit. Take off your pants. But this season, you'll see him in a whole new role. Did you or did you not have sex with Mrs. McCadden? No comment. Good answer. It's changed his approach to love. We slept together once. You've been schooling me ever since. Strained his relationship with his ex-wife. You shut the door. Good night. And challenged his authority as a father. This ninth grader called you a dumb slut. <laughs> I'll kill him. Dream on. A brand new season begins June 6th, right after the premiere of Robin Hood. And all new episodes every Saturday night at 10 on HBO. Come on, let's go, Roger. No, 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 we should go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Roger, don't be a killjoy. Come on, come on, we're back. We're bad. You're black. I'm mad. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, hey, 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 listen. If we're going, shouldn't I have a gun? No. It's been three years since Mel Gibson and Danny Glover last got together to star in the action film sequel, Lethal Weapon 2. The worldwide popularity of this 1989 movie proved to its studio, Warner Brothers, that there was still plenty of box office gold left to be made from its lethal combination of high-budget special effects. And the comic adventure chemistry between the stars. Only if you let me drive. Move over. I'll drive. Go around the other side. No, go around the other side. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'll drive. Now, this month in Los Angeles, Gibson and Glover are at it again. The two are back before cameras as the action continues in Lethal Weapon 3. Lethal Weapon 3 brings the stars back together for a third time with producer Joel Silver and director Richard Donner. But Gibson says making number three is still the toughest one yet. You get harder each time to, um, you know, keep it fresh and to come uh, and surprise and to be fresh. But uh, you just, it, it gets harder. That's all there is to it. So you've always got to find a way of doing that. The plot of Lethal Weapon 3 picks up on the adventures of Los Angeles cops Myrtle and Wig as they try to break up an illegal weapons ring. It's a subject not too far from today's newspaper headlines. Well, it's the weapons, you know. Weapons are fairly available nowadays. And, you know, you're trying to look at that kind of problem and maybe say something about it and entertain on the way. Co-star Glover says even he finds the films entertaining. I, I think that I, I, even though I'm not a great fan of action films, I'm sure, certainly a fan of, of the kind of nuances that happen when, when two people get together and, and have fun. Between Lethal Weapon films, Gibson has sought out variety in his screen roles. He played a drug dealer opposite Michelle Pfeiffer in Tequila Sunrise. And his comic teaming with Goldie Hawn in Bird on a Wire produced a box office hit. Many Gibson fans were then surprised when the actor decided to take on none other than Hamlet in Franco Zeffirelli's sweeping epic production. Gibson says he keeps returning to Lethal Weapon films, however, because he likes the character. Hey, sorry, Adolf. I get a vicarious thrill out of the things that he can do. I can't do that stuff. I couldn't get away with it. But we all get a vicarious thrill out of, you know, what it would be like to let go and forget about the rules of society from time to time. And, uh, take matters into our own hands, if you know what I mean. Gibson admits there is one disadvantage to shooting action movies. And well, there's a lot of activity, so you find yourself usually, um, I'm always pulling muscles and twisting ankles and stuff on these things, because you're always jumping over something, or falling, and I don't know, maybe I don't warm up enough first. <laughs> But I'm always, like, going to the chiropractor to get my neck fixed or something. Lethal Weapon 3 also marks the return of Oscar-winning actor Joe Pesci, whose portrayal of a half-pint con man brought much of the comic relief to the last film. Hey, 
It's funny. He's a funny guy. Because he's so he, he's a lot smaller than us, like, and he looks like it's so un, it, it's so unequal. I mean, there's two really Come big on, sort of cops that. sort of yeah, slapping this okay. little guy around who's this little con man, but he just keeps bouncing back for more. There's something funny about that. Director Richard Donner says okay. having fun with the film is part of Lethal okay. Weapon's success. Ready? So does that mean there'll be a fourth? You hear a dollar sign going off behind us, a little cash red is the ring in the back. What would it take? It would take um, a success of three, and it would take, um, a, I assume, a good screenplay to provoke both Mel and Danny, studio obviously, and uh, hopefully they'll ask me to do it. Lethal I Weapon 3 is due to hit oh, theaters oh, this oh, summer. Oh, Barroom brawler Clint Eastwood and his rascally sidekick Clyde the Orangutan go on a cross-country adventure in every which way but loose, next on HBO. David Sloan is a fighter who won't play the game just for kicks. UK is crooked, drug-ridden. Sloan's gonna bring this whole thing down. David Sloan is a teacher. Until they take away what means the most. David Sloan is the Avenger, up against the deadliest opponent of all, his brother's killer. Sasha Mitchell, Peter Boyle, Kickboxer 2, The Road Back, tonight on HBO. They were rich kids. If we expelled you, I'd make four prep schools in four years. They were rejects, and they ruled the school until... Well, terrorists took over. If any one of these wires is cut, they will explode! With impossible demands. If you do not produce my father unharmed, I will begin executing the hostages. Louis Gossett Jr. My boys have a real problem with authority. Sean Astin, Toy Soldiers. Premieres Saturday, May 23rd on HBO. The hottest new movie this summer you won't get at the box office. You'll find it only on HBO. They were fly boys. How's it feel to have 14,000 pounds of thrust between your legs? Oh, it's a little less than what I'm used to. She fell in love with the best. Do you have an answer for everything? I make sure of it. Only one thing came between them. Hey, you take care of your big jet. Then one day, everything changed. Price is like you just push this stick forward and go straight into the ground. What gives you people the right to know more about my husband's death than I do? They have too much money. Too much political clout. He came home in a box! I know! You want to know what was in it? This isn't just about my husband's death. This is about every one of those guys that goes up in an F-16. She challenged the system and exposed the truth. Laura Dern, Vince Spano, Robert Loggia, and Michael Rooker in a controversial movie of courage and military cover-up. Afterburn, based on a true story. Premier Saturday, May 30th on HBO. Dennis the Thriller Miller. Pound of Paula Poundstone, Paul the Rock Rodriguez, and more. It's the night of the comedy heavyweights, live in Comic Relief 5. All the top comedians in every class, including headliners Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, and Robin Williams, plus new contenders rising to the challenge. They're primed, they're pumped, they're ready to make you laugh. More punchlines will be thrown and landed than in any other comedy event of the century. It will crush your funny bone. Comic Relief 5. It promises to be an all-out comedy brawl. On the night of the comedy heavyweights, anything can happen and will. You'll laugh till it hurts. You'll laugh till it helps the homeless. When the champions of comedy meet, it's the homeless that win. Comic Relief 5. The comedy event of the century. Live tomorrow on HBO. Tonight, it all happens here on HBO. At 8, a retired kickboxer seeks revenge back in the ring in Kickboxer 2, The Road Back. Then at 9.30, Charlie Sheen's learning the tricks of the trade from Clint Eastwood in The Rookie. And at 11.30, Demi Moore stars in a chilling chapter of Tales from the Crypt. Viewer discretion advised. Kickboxer 2, The Rookie, and Tales from the Crypt. It all happens here tonight on HBO.